I was first diagnosed in 2019. It was scary. Total shock. Just went in for a routine mammal. I got a call later on that there was abnormality and so I had to make an appointment to go in and then I was informed that there was cancer. That year, I just had a lumpectomy. I had to go through the biopsy and all that stuff and then I had a lumpectomy. That was it, I didn't have anything else. And then the following year, same thing happened. Had my mammo and got a call. There was another lump in the same side on my right side. So this time I had a lumpectomy and uh, radiation. Third year, uh, same thing. This time it was on my left side and it had already also gotten into my lymph nodes. They decided to do the chemo first, so I went through the chemo treatments. Then I had surgery. I had a uh, bilateral mastectomy. After that, I had radiation. And then following my last chemo treatment, I also got put on Herceptin, and I had to take that infusions of that every three weeks for the next year. So it was a long process. Going through the chemo is hell, mm -hmm. all I can say. Mm -hmm. First two treatments, I thought I was going to die. There was so much pain. Mm -hmm. Main thing it affected with me is my eyesight. It ruined my eyesight. Mm -hmm. And this side on my eye um, is really painful. Got some neuropathy. I feel it all the time, mm -hmm. but it's it's not really painful. It's just there. Yeah. You know what? I just I don't know. It just never really devastated me. Mm -hmm. I just um, just took it in stride. Mm -hmm. My attitude. I always try to keep an attitude of gratitude. Um, try to be positive you know, slip up every now and then, but I catch myself and I think it was just attitude. Mm -hmm. I think one of the things I should have mentioned that made things easier for me when I started going through chemo was uh, my adopted sister was diagnosed just before I was and she was diagnosed triple negative. We went through chemo together. We started on the same day together. After that, we weren't together, you know, all the time. But So we were each other's support. And there was a lot of support from friends, you know, and family, and just a lot of encouragement. Mm -hmm. I didn't know anything about breast cancer before, mm -hmm. so um, uh, that first year I had a navigator who helped me to understand some things. I just sort of learned on my own. You know, I did research and thought out there's several different kinds. Well, um, I had never participated in anything like that, so I was kind of blindsided, you know. I didn't know anything. I had never read up on it, or, and I knew it existed. I mean, I've heard of it, but. I didn't really know anything about it. Mm -hmm. I think it's important to, for women to know about it, kind of know what to expect. Of course, like I said, there's different kinds. If you do get a diagnosis, it's a journey. There's a lot of uh, appointments before, during, after. Um, it's just a long, long process. I finished chemo two years ago. I still see my oncologist twice a year yet. It just totally dwindled, you know, from every month and every three, you know. So now it's every six months. And so far, I've been okay. <laughs> <laughs> Try to remember that uh, it is a journey and there will be an end to the treatments. Um, just, 
I'm just a big believer in being and believing in, in the best and and affirming that this is it. You know, I'm not, I'm done. It's not going to happen anymore. Inviting everybody to come to Lift on October 24th for the Fiesta for Fighters to learn more about breast cancer, just all the ways that you can um, educate yourself and know what to expect, what, what not to do, what to do. There's just a lot of learning. It's a learning curve. So it would be great if you could come and join us.